Good day everyone! This video will be about RBC dilution using an RBC Thoma pipette. Before you begin, gather all the materials you will need. First, a tuberculin syringe with rubber tubing, an RBC Thoma pipette, and a dilution fluid that is isotonic such as daisies or normal saline solution. You will also need a test tube, a pasture pipette, and of course, your blood sample, which in this case is whole blood and EDTA. For the procedure, first, dispense an aliquot of your dilution fluid into a test tube. Make sure to fill the test tube at least three-fourths of the way to make it easier for you in the next steps. After, always cap your reagent bottle to avoid contamination. Now take your RBC Thoma pipette. You can differentiate this from the WBC Thoma pipette using the markings as well as the colored bead in the bulb. Take your syringe and attach the rubber tubing to the end of your pipette. Once you have done that, take your blood sample and invert it a few times to mix the blood thoroughly. To collect blood, first take your pipette and pinch the rubber tubing a bit to create a small vacuum. Now tilt your tube slightly and place the pipette tip on the opening of the tube. Aspirate by releasing the tube slightly and make sure you do not go past the 0.5 mark. If you do, you can remove excess blood by either blotting it on a tissue paper or gauze. Once you've done that, make sure that the blood level is again at 0.5 on your pipette. After, immediately place the pipette with your blood sample into the tube with diluting fluid. Slowly pull the plunger of your syringe to aspirate diluting fluid into the thermal pipette. Do this carefully so that you will not go past the upper marking of the Thoma pipette, which reads 101. Once you have collected the necessary amount of diluting fluid, slowly take the pipette out of your tube. Cover the tip of the pipette with a gloved finger, and with the other hand, slowly remove the rubber tubing. Cover both ends of the pipette with your thumb and finger and mix by inverting. You can also gently tap the pipette on your hand to release any blood that may have attached to the glass walls. The last step is to mix the pipette contents in a mechanical shaker. Make sure to follow the position of the pipette indicated on the machine diagram. Allow mixing for at least 3 to 5 minutes before proceeding to the next step. Thanks for watching and see you next time.